All right, chat. Yes, sir. We going to be looking at the Madden 22 gameplay dynamic gameplay. I don't know, bro. All I know is that I haven't played Madden in over eight years. You know, at this point, this would have been a perfect generational cycle for me to be playing a 2K football game because I don't ever want to go back to Madden. That's just one game and franchise I'll never go back into. I'll dip back into Halo. I'll dip back into Gears of War. I'll always dip back into Call of Duty. I might even dip back into 2K in the future. But now, Madden is a game that I would never go back to that I used to play every every year when I was a kid. Madden used to come out every year, used to get it every year. That's one game I'll never go back to. You get what I'm saying? But let me take a look at what Madden is bringing to the table. Wish 2K made a football game so I could see what that, what competition for it would actually look like. But let's take a look at Madden. Oh, that's beautiful. The visuals are beautiful. That's clean. What's up, everyone? Clint Oldenburg here, gameplay producer of Clint Madden NFL Oldenburg. 22. Today, I'm thrilled to bring you some details on Madden 22's all-new dynamic game day feature. Let me see. The three components that combine to create it. All right, for those of y'all that play Madden, is break and tackle skill based or is it just random? Like I swear I don't I don't get it, bro. There's no way that that thing takes user timing or any anything from a user. You'll also learn about core gameplay improvements, including player movement, catching, blocking, and tackling. Whoa! Dynamic Game Day is a next-gen feature that delivers on the raw energy and emotion of NFL game days through three core components. Game day atmosphere, yeah. game day momentum, look at that. And next gen stats star driven AI. Oh and the game day deepens the gameplay experience through new levels of strategy, unique storytelling, and immersive stadium atmospheres. Look at that stadium it also atmosphere. Every snap and every game feel like a new challenge <laughs> and impacts gameplay across every mode. Let's dive into the details, starting with game day atmosphere. Let's see it. Game day atmosphere enhances every game of Madden 22. Uh -huh. by bringing to life the unique characteristics and personality of each NFL stadium, as well as the real-world emotion, intensity, Ooh. and fun of game day. Some examples of how atmosphere can impact gameplay include crowd noise making it tougher for the quarterback to hear a call or make an audible at the line. Wait, time out. How could a video game simulate a quarterback not being able to hear? so randomly my play just won't work like let's say i pick a play a uh, randomly it just won't work like i don't get it i really don't get how y'all can simulate that like what are you talking about or a receiver to miss a hot route just like they might in real life this all ties into the next component of dynamic game day an all-new game mechanic called game day momentum game day momentum allows you to feel the highs and lows of the momentum swings of every game with the performance-based momentum meter uh huh. And it's in game perks known as M Factors. Oh, look at that. While winning, home gains more momentum and away gains less. Look at that. As momentum is gained and lost, M Factors will affect teams in unexpected ways. Some M Factor impacts include leaving a kicker in the ice state, receiver icons going missing, huh? or making the hot route become more difficult to perform. We're also introduced. So they remove the icon of who you're passing it to when you're not in the zone or whatever. Home field oh. advantage in Madden 22. Every NFL stadium in the game features a unique M factor that, when triggered, can unlock a special boost created for each NFL team's environment. The home team will always have one extra M factor in the momentum meter, simulating the difficulty of winning on the road in the NFL. Oh, These that's a good M pick. factors will be the first to unlock when a momentum shift happens. Here are some examples of the effects of home field advantage in different stadiums. Seahawks, play art that is hard to see to reflect the infamous crowd noise. No, that always been in the game. That ain't nothing new. Windy conditions make kicking and field goals even more difficult. So there's three different options of where the ball could go and you have no idea. Fewer stamina reserves for visiting teams in the Mile High City. Now, Makes onto sense. the third component of Dynamic Game Day, next-gen stats star-driven AI. 
Over the last two years, more than 80% of games have been played against the CPU. By leveraging the NFL's next-gen stats, we've upgraded AI player behaviors and team tendencies so that single-player games will feel just as deep and meaningful as playing against other humans. You're lying. There's no way For that can ever be a AI thing. AI players, next-gen stats are now used to drive player tendencies like these. For Team AI, each team will have its own personality, play calling style, and team tendencies, all driven by next-gen stats. For example, defenses like the Steelers who like to blitz will challenge your pocket presence on offense. Yes, sir. Playing against a run-heavy team like the Ravens will be a completely different experience than playing the pass-heavy Bills. In Play Now and Franchise, these tendencies will evolve all season long as team stats change either in the real world that look nice. or within your franchise sim so that each game will feel as fresh as each week in the NFL season. Next up, core gameplay improvements. Yes, the core gameplay trash. The next gen player movement this year, making players even more authentic and explosive. Look at that foot and planting. And added more nuance, context, and intelligence. In addition to more route running and player speed data, you'll also see the following. What's that? I'm not reading that. I and thought he was finna tell me. Expect more control when it comes to catching, like independent player battles for balls in the air. Yes, sir. Sideline catch flip detection, and more control and responsiveness in turning Ooh. up the field after the catch. Tackling improvements include big bruising ball carriers will be more likely to fall forward in tackles, whereas smaller, more agile ball carriers will not be picking up those extra yards. And we improve blocking too. Passing pockets will form deeper and faster around the quarterback. And expect run blocking momentum enhancements like more animation ah! while opening up dynamic running lanes ensuring momentum is properly reflected on both sides of the ball thanks for spending your time with us to learn more about dynamic game day in madden nfl 22 stay tuned to ea sports madden nfl 22 channel let's see what they talking about down in the comments about this game can't have a deep dive and include less than a minute of combined gameplay, but I'm seeing some cool things that left the game a couple years back. Look at this, bro. A gamer of the game is telling me they bringing things back that was already in the game. How is that exciting news? It's crazy how they just adding old features that used to be in Madden games. I told you I had a feeling that was that little squiggly line thing about the fight about the, the, the yeah listen the only thing that made sense out of that whole video is when you go play Denver and they're a mile high so your teams get tired more so that mean that Matt and ultimate team that's the stadium to get because then the other team players are just naturally gonna be more tired more prone to fumble or whatever stamina does to you I don't know that's why I feel like that type of stuff don't need to be in the game because it just adds a rng type element chat let me know what y'all thinking about this down in the comments i don't play matt in no more and y'all seeing exactly why